Hello, what's up, guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man SH Figure Arts is up for pre-order. Now, if you haven't seen Spider-Man No Way Home, a major spoiler alert, Tobey Maguire and uh, Andrew Garfield, both of the other Spider-Man movie characters, they're, they're in this movie. It's the worst kept secret on the internet, so if you're shocked by that, Good job on staying away from spoilers, I guess. <laughs> now, when I saw this movie in theaters, of course, I freaked out when I saw them, but I, I expected them to come in. But after I saw the movie, I knew that eventually they were going to make Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire figures. You just have to wait a long time after everyone, after everyone's seen the movie. And many months ago, they announced that they're going to be making them, but they didn't show any prototypes or anything. And then they showed some prototypes, and now it's up for pre-order. So let's take a close look and fangirl a little bit now out of the three this is my favorite spider-man and as of right now this is the only one up for pre-order uh they are making an andrew garfield and they're making a special edition of tom holland you can technically get that costume of him but th I'm there's a reason why they're gonna remake him so we're gonna get into that so as of right here this sounds scary but it equivalates to like 75 dollars like a little over 75 dollars so it's fine but I've only found two websites taking pre-orders, this and uh, Big Bad Toy Store. But the main reason for that is because that is a, a web shop exclusive. So some other places like AmiAmi or Hobby Link Japan or any places like that, they're not going to be able to get their hands on this. How Nin, Nin Game does, I don't know. But I've shopped with these guys before. I've bought and I don't know how many figures from them already. So they're reliable you you can count on them that you, you can feel safe pre-ordering from here as of right now it says soon available but if you type in your email and you set up for notifications it's what i did so i managed to actually get my pre-order through these guys and if you get it through them you're going to be getting it hopefully in january but if you get it from big bad toy store you're going to be waiting until march but anyway let's take a look at these pictures so as you can tell they capture the look of the toby mcguire spider-man suit very well I've actually used to have the Toy Biz figures from way back then. Was it Toy Biz who made the Spider-Man 2 figures? Whoever made the Spider-Man 2 figures, that's what I had, and I still have them to this day. However, the articulation on them is starting to wear out. He can't stand up on his own. He, he's like, my back! My back! Oh, my back! And then just falls right over. Like, he has no spine anymore i don't understand so i was excited for the news they're making an sh figure arts because they're the other figure is very poseable but like this is just an overall better quality figure and as you can tell from here you can see how flexible he's gonna be because like at first i'm like how flexible is he really gonna be but after seeing this he's gonna be fine but this picture is what got me the most excited for this figure because we actually have Tobey Maguire unmasked, and he can hold his mask. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to have him posed on the shelf, but this is honestly what sold me on all three. Originally, I was just going to pick up Toby and just be happy, but if all three of them are going to be unmasked, I want all three. Absolutely. And then we can get a closer look on how he's going to look from the back. But the thing that weirds me out is, like, you can see how, like, there's, like, three sections to his ah uh, his articulation on from his back but in the front you only see like the top and bottom of his torso so it's it's nice to see like oh he's gonna have enough articulation to actually move pretty well but it has me curious on how they hide that joint not that it's a bad thing i'm just curious but of course i'm gonna be getting my hands on this figure so we're gonna be doing a review on this thing, so if you want to see that review, make sure you sub. But of course, you have to recreate the meme, and I love how drastically different this one looks in comparison to these two. Kind of unsettling, to be honest. I don't know how to feel about that. And then here's a pose of all of them. They're recreating that scene when they're like they're about to fight the bad guys, and you can see how poseable Toby is. But I'm also nervous on how hard that's gonna be to actually create that pose. Hopefully, it shouldn't be that difficult. But I am so excited to get all three. But I feel like if I get this Tom Holland, I'm going to want some other Tom Holland Spider-Man figures. And there's already so many and they're getting expensive. And I'm not looking forward to that. Uh. And then that's everything. Um, There's not really many details. At least not in that description. Is there anything in here? Oh, thank God. Okay, cool. Uh, five pairs of optional hands. Uh, normally with some other Spider-Man figures from SH Figure Arts, you're able to swap out the eye pieces, but they don't change in this Spider-Man, so cool, they don't need to do that. Made of plastic, I, I sure hope so. 
Highly detailed. Surely hope so. Premium articulation. I hope so. Remove mask. Web. Large. Two webs. Short. And two webs. Long. This is such a vague description right here. Like I don't like this. Two optional heads, obviously. Oh, I love this description. I like how they actually give a description for this guy. Peter 2, making a surprise comeback after 20 years in Spider-Man No Way Home, joins SH Figure Arts. Which, again, this, makes, this brings me so much joy. I'm so excited for this figure. The Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man Edition uh, features a faithfully accurate facial sculpt. Uh, now you can replicate scenes of him uh, offering advice to his younger counterpart, sold separately, recreating uh, one of the performances of the century right on your desktop. Not on your shelf. No shelves. Again, like this face. I... I'm so excited to see this face in person. Like, I, this is gonna look so cool. I've only had one other SH Figure Arts Spider-Man, and that is the one based off the PS4 game, and I loved that figure. But then I got the Miles Morales from Sentinel, and I, like that's like the definitive Spider-Man figure. It's like not overly complicated when it comes to its articulation, and still po pulls off so many poses. It's incredible. I love it. But like I said earlier, I'm pre I pre-ordered it. it. I have it. It's gonna come whenever. But if you do want to pre-order from Big Bad Toy Store, which is probably like, your guaranteed way of getting it versus Nin Nin Game, uh, with this, like you're taking a chance of it not getting back in stock. But apparently they're they're trying to get more, so if you want to sign up for it, go ahead. But this is how I recommend most people get theirs, at least they're if they're in the US. And spending $100 on a Spider-Man figure is going to be a lot. A fair warning, it's, it's going to be really expensive, but he's cool. He's very cool. And of course, when Andrew Garfield figures come out and the new and improved Tom Holland, then we're going to get, be getting those as well. So let me know in the comments. Do you plan on picking these guys up? Uh, I'll have links in the description on where you can pre-order this guy. And if you want to see me do a review on this guy, uh, make sure you sub because I'm reviewing this. I'm so excited for this figure. He looks so sick. Speaking of things looking sick, look at that blue eyes white dragon statue I just recently got. Man, he looks, he looks fire. But yeah, that's it. I'm excited for this Spider-Man figure. I'm, I'm bought, I bought him in a heartbeat. I was so excited when I found out he was going up for pre-order. So, hey, look at that. But anyway, thank you for watching. I love you guys to death, and I'll see you on the next one. So peace, peace.